Welcome everyone, Edwin here from Resolutions Design, yet again with another video for Shopify. Uh, if you're brand new to this channel, uh, again, Edwin Anthony of Resolutions Design, and what we do here is everything related to Shopify. So if you like Shopify tips, if you'd like to know everything related to Shopify business tips, themes, and all that good stuff, don't forget to subscribe down below and give that blue thumbs up. Also, leave me any questions in the comments. Let's get right to this. Okay, so this is going to be a very quick video. Shopify has done a very, uh, they're doing a lot of updates. You'll notice that your interface is changing to a minimalistic design, uh, a lot of little minimalistic things here, and they're also doing a lot of inventory backend setting changes. And the purpose of this one is to talk about how perhaps your products are not showing up on your store. Uh, they're not showing up in your store because of this whole draft thing. Like, why is why is this going on? So, a little bit of context here, real quick. Let me explain how it gets to it, and then we're going to talk about how we're going to fix it. So, what this means is that let's pretend for a second that shop of uh, you go ahead and you start adding products. When you add a product into a store, it doesn't automatically publish it into the website. It doesn't actually show it right away. Instead, it automatically creates it as a draft. And this is just in case if your store is live and you have a product that's about to come out pretty soon uh, or it's a pre-order product that hasn't come out yet uh, so that you could go ahead and add it into the back end here. By the way, the way that I got here is if you go to where it says home, go to products, and this is the whole inventory. So this is what you everybody should be seeing the moment that you add a product, okay? So it doesn't matter if you add it, you know, if you add tags or if you add a collection or add the product into the collection, the product will still not show as long as the draft is available. So def uh, several ways to fix this. We need to change this status from draft to active. And there's two ways that we could do that. First, if it's just a singular product, all you have to go is hover over this, click on this where it says draft, and then go ahead and click on where it says online store. Well, look at that. It doesn't even let me change it. Wow, Shopify, what are you doing? All right, so it's okay. So what's the point of this, right? All right, so this is how we do this. We're going to go ahead and click on this right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And if you have more than 50 products, then make sure you select that. But for this example, I'm just going to keep it as such. And what I'm going to do, make sure that they're all selected, is click right here where it says more actions. And more actions, you'll see where it says set active. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to give me a dialogue saying, hey, are you sure that you want to make this active? And I say, yes, go ahead, set as active. And Shopify is going to start doing its thing on the back end. Uh, again, what I don't like is that I don't see a progression bar. You know how typically when you make changes, you see kind of like a progression bar. Uh, or you'll see another dialogue black box come out saying, we have updated everything, right? It just kind of like stays stuck there. And you're like, okay, so what happened? I don't see anything. What's going on? Ah, there it is. You see how it took a while? It took a, a, a bit of a while. But if you have a lot of products, like let's say you have a thousand plus products and you did this for, for all of your products, just make sure you're a bit patient, okay? And this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the status to become active. And that's what this is for, okay? So from there, it should show on your website. You should have no problems taking a look at it. It should you know, appear with no issues. Um, but if you do have issues, let me know down in the comments, You know, what is it about this that perhaps you're still stuck on? So again, very small overview. You just gotta make sure that you click on select all, right? And if you have more than 50 products, just make sure that you click on this link right here so that it considers all of the products. OK, because by default, if you just click on this, it's just going to show the first 50. Right. But if you have more than 50, make sure that you click on that link so that this appears right here. OK, so that this right here appears. OK, and then you click on more actions and click on set as active. Uh, the other way around, too, if you are saying, let's say, for example, these guys, you don't want it to show up in the store. You want to kind of like hide it. So let's go ahead and click these three right here. We're going to revert these back into a draft. OK, and what that's going to do is that it's still on the store, but it's just not showing it on the front end. It's not showing the people in the front side of the store. That's all that means. OK, 
Again, if you like this type of video, go ahead and smash that blue like button. Let me know down in the comments if this helped you, if you like this video or not. Other than that, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for your support, and see you next time.